Hello, Aries. So last reading I did, I kept getting that there is an ex who's been very indecisive. Um, might have even used black magic or some sort of con like some sort of controlling energy to try to um, tie you down to them. And I feel like your spirit guides are pushing them out. And they're bringing in someone that's going to truly love you and be there for you. Because um, if this is your story, you should you should take a look at that video I did a couple weeks ago. It kind of goes in depth. Um, this was this is a very interesting reading I did a couple weeks ago because I got a lot of energy of um, you know, some of them were doing spell work, some of them were just trying to control you through their energy, through whatever it might have been. But I I got the energy that um that they pretty much weren't respecting magic because they're they're doing this these love spells on you or they're doing they're doing something to control you and it might not even be magic it might just be the intention and the energy that they're putting out there where they're trying to keep you on hold but they're not actually really willing to commit to you so they might not be doing magic but maybe they're just messaging you here and there and then they they you know get go MIA again and you're like what like you don't understand their energy because it's like they're just they're so hot and cold um but it's like they're disrespecting magic or they're disrespecting the you know that energy because it's like they're trying to keep you on hold but they're not really willing to commit to you like they're not trying to love you they're not trying to be in a relationship with you they're not trying to be there for you when you need them like they're not supportive of you they're they're just kind of um you know it's like the energy of someone like doing like love spells on you but then ignoring you when you call them or blocking you on social media or you know, telling you they're busy and can't hang out all the time. It's like, well, why? It's like a disrespect to the magic. It's like, why are we? Why are you doing that kind of magic and trying to control someone when you have no intention of actually like loving them and being with them? You know, like you can't just put someone on hold like that. Like if you're doing that, you need to, you know. And I got I got some other energy too. Like someone was doing like maybe money spells, but they're not they're being lazy and they're not putting themselves in a position to, to make any money. They're, they're maybe doing a spell spells to find a new house, but they're not house hunting. So it's almost like it's just disrespectful of the magic. Um, because their, their physical, um, mind and their actions and words are not aligning with the, um, with the energy. So with either with the magic that they're doing or just with the intention and the energy that they're putting out in the universe, um, again, it could just be energy, not not necessarily magic, but it could just be the energy of like they want to message you here and there, but then block you or ignore you or, um, you know, just kind of check in like, oh, hey, how are you doing? I really missed you. Like, let's hang out sometime and you message them and they ignore you. It's like, what? Like they're trying to give you just enough to keep you on the hook, but not actually like commit to you, you know? And some of them, I mean, some of them might feel like, oh, I have to, I have to get my finances in order before I have a relationship, or I have to get out of the karmic situation before I have a relationship, or I have to do this, or I have to do that. But it's like, it's just excuses, you know, like you, they, like you, they need to communicate. They can't really, you know, their guides don't care why they're doing it. The The point is that it's just, they, they can't do that anymore. Um, so this person, um, just to reiterate a little bit for those of you that are new to my channel, um, and again, you know, you should check if this is your story, you should probably check out that Aries video I posted a couple weeks ago to get more in depth insight into, into this. But, um, but yeah, their guides are basically about to take their power away from them. I'm getting very strongly that you are protected and that any love that you have coming your way is also protected like very strongly. And if this person tries to separate you guys, it's going to backfire on them so bad. Like it's, it's, it's going to backfire on them like tenfold. Like your guides, someone's guides are like pissed. Like they're about to put their foot down. Um, and you're about to have just a wall built around you where this person, if they try to control or manipulate you, it's just, it's going to come back on them so bad. Like they're going to end up with like a karmic that's going to control them and not let them do anything. And they're going to be trapped for the rest of their lives, possibly, you know, it's like that kind of energy where your guides are getting so pissed that this person keeps trying to get your attention and tie your energy up, but not actually like be there for you or commit to you physically. You know, this could be someone who's a psychic too, who like 
maybe is trying to drag you back in like emotionally or just maybe there's like red cords that you need to cut that you still have to this person. Maybe that's how they're getting in. But um, but you're protected. Like you're you're really very powerfully protected. I'm getting that this person has a very limited amount of time to um, to have, you know, their their physical their physical words and actions match up with what they're doing on an energetic level. So basically they have a very limited time to, to message or commit or do what they're, you know, trying to do through magic or intention or witchcraft or whatever they're doing. So yeah. And they're, and they're, they're barely getting in now. Like you're already protected. I think like a little bit of the energy is getting in, but your guides are, you know, your guides are about to just like, take their power away your guides are about to like not even let them do magic on anyone not just you but anything like they're they're about to lose everything if they keep trying to control you like your guides are pissed and you have some powerful guides you have some very very powerful guides that are not happy and I think this person is looking for loopholes I think they're trying to find ways because I think that they feel this so if your person is psychic I'm getting that they feel that energy of um like you being protected, like maybe they're starting to notice like, oh, wow, I tried to do this, this love spell and it didn't work or it backfired on me. Like I tried to, you know, or I messaged you and like, oh, you're not answering now. What's that about? Like you're something, some, they're having some kind of epiphany. Something's just hitting them. They, they're getting a rude awakening right now. Um, I think this person could very well be narcissistic and manipulative and they're used to getting their way. So there I'm getting that energy because I'm sorry to go too much into, you know, the same reading that we did a couple weeks ago. But just for those of you that are new, I wanted to, you know, start that off that way to kind of give you an update on where we're at. But um, but I'm getting so the update that I'm getting, I'm going to pull cards too. But the update I'm getting to the situation is that now they're trying to find a loophole because I feel like if your person's psychic, like maybe maybe when you watched my video, you became aware of it and you put the intention in of protecting yourself more. Or maybe maybe you're into witchcraft too, and maybe you did a protection spell on yourself, or a protection, or like a love drawing for your new love to come in, or something. And I'm feeling like almost like you called them out astrally, like you went in and was like, like you went into like the astral realm and called them out, and you're like, really, you think you're gonna do this to me? And like they're they're scared now, they're a little scared. Um, they're. I feel like, I just feel like they have like an awareness now. Like they know that, you know, they're doing this. I feel like before they thought they were being really sneaky and now they kind of know that you're completely conscious of them doing this. So there could have been a conversation that happened between you two in the astral realm where you really put them in their place. Um, or you could just be doing like magic and stuff to protect yourself. And they're feeling that they're like, oh crap, I'm not getting in as much like Maybe they had like a dream about you doing a protection spell or maybe you came to them in their dreams and you basically told them off in their dreams or you you put them in their place in their dreams. And their pride is wounded because they're narcissistic. They're not used to that. They're like, what? What? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> they are not used to the way that you talk to them. You know, like they don't. This person has has women or has men like usually eaten out of the palm of their hand like they usually have people chase them and so your energy is like they're like what like they don't like that they don't have you on you know lockdown like that they, they like they don't like that so the energy I'm picking up now is that there was an epiphany they have an awareness that you're that you're aware they um and, and again they could have just felt this like they could have they might be maybe they're doing stuff to like maybe they're doing magic or they're they're putting the intention in and it's like they suddenly feel like maybe you've been open to them like you've been vulnerable with them and all of a sudden they try to like meditate and tap into your energy and your energy is just blocked like you're just like nope and they're like oh my gosh what happened how did they why why are they blocking me out what happened I didn't even say anything to them and maybe they're like they might be scrying or doing readings on you trying to figure it out but I get that they're looking for a loophole. They are, that's where they're at now, which makes sense if they're narcissistic. Because why would a narcissist just, you know, put their pride aside and think, hey, wow, I've met my match. Maybe my spirit guards are right. Um, maybe I really need to message and commit or I need to let this person move on so they can have someone who is going to commit. 
Like, I don't know why that doesn't occur to them, but they, um, it's almost like they're pissed at their spirit guides too, because their spirit guides, they feel like they went and talked to their spirit guides and their spirit guides were like, nope, <laughs> nope, you're not doing this. Like, they don't like being put in their place by anybody. Not even by, not even by like angels or gods and goddesses or like, you know, like the fairy realm or the dragons. Like they don't, they don't like being put in their place by anybody. Like, even if they're like a, like an angel or something, you know what I mean? Like, like more powerful than them. They, they don't, they don't like being told what to do. And so they're kind of throwing a little bit of a pissy fit right now. And they're kind of trying to play dumb. Like they know that, you know, but maybe they're trying to like pretend like it wasn't them. Like pretend like they, they haven't been trying to manifest you back like they just have no idea what you're talking about like oh no I moved on I don't know what you mean like nah nah let me pull cards too but yeah they're trying to find a loophole they're that's what I'm getting right now they're trying to find a loophole they're arguing you guys might be arguing in the in the higher realms they might be asking other people to help them with this. Maybe they think that they can like have someone else do the magic and then it will work and it's not going to work because their, their guides are above this. Like you have to realize like beings in the higher realms, like angels and gods and goddesses and all those other, you know, different high vibrational beings. Like they're so, they're just so above the human mind. Like there's nothing that we can come up with that it's a loophole. You know what I mean? Like they're going to see through that. They're going to, you know what I mean? So this person's trying to like, have someone else do the magic and maybe they think that if someone else does the magic you're not going to realize it's coming from them but your guides are still your guides aren't even going to put are, what your guides wouldn't even punish the person helping them with the magic I don't think they would punish them for it so it's like they can't go have someone else do the magic or they can't there's no loophole like they think that they found a loophole or they think that maybe they could do this or maybe they could do this like maybe they're trying to experiment they can't they can't any loophole they come up with their guides are going to be on top of it and it's going to backfire on them bad and I get that they're also pissing their guides off a lot by even thinking that they could outsmart them like they can never you can't outsmart your guides your guides are above you I mean I hate to say it like that but I mean yeah these are these high vibrational beings like they don't they don't see us as like slaves or pets or anything horrible like that like they love us like they're you know what I mean like I talk to my my gods and goddesses the way I would talk to my friends you know like we're connected but I know that they're stronger than me I mean they're they're goddesses like of course they're stronger than me you know um so it's like yeah your person's trying to out, outsmart them your person's trying to find loopholes they're trying to figure out what they could do they're trying to find out if there's some way around this. Um, and there's there's not. <laughs> there's not. And and they're pissing their they're pissing your guides or their guides or both of your guides off right now by even trying to find that loophole. And it's gonna it's it's if they keep trying to find it and they keep trying to maybe do cloaking spells or or, or being sneaky or whatever they're trying to do, it's gonna backfire on them so bad. So so yeah, your person if your person doesn't come back around soon, they're, I don't think they're coming back, to be honest. Because that's the energy I'm getting strongly where your your guides are about done with them. Like they're, they, for some of you, I mean, a lot of you are over them already. A lot of you are already like, you know what, this person is manipulative. I don't want this. I'm done. I wish they would stop coming up in my readings. I'm sick of this person. Others of you are still kind of like in love with this person. Maybe you know that you shouldn't trust them, but it's like, it's hard. You have a history. Maybe you have a deep past life history with them. So it's hard to let go. But, but I'm really feeling like whoever this is for, I'm still feeling that energy. Like your guides are about done. Even if you just like, your, our guides usually try to listen to us, but I feel like even if you're like, no, I love this person, your guides are going to be like, no, sorry, honey. It's too toxic. Sorry. <laughs> Like your guides are, they're done. They're not doing it anymore. They're pissed. Your, your spirit guides are protecting you and they are mad. They are, they are getting madder and madder. The more this person tests them and tries to find loopholes, the more pissed off they get. And what would have been something as simple as just them taking their power away is going to turn into something like, I don't even want to say it on YouTube because it's going to be bad. It's going to be like chaos in their lives. It's going to be like tower moment after tower moment. Like they are going to create misery in their own lives by doing this. 
it's it's almost like it's strange because usually when with this kind of energy it's like you have to do a, a reversing spell yourself and it's almost like in the higher realms your guides are just doing the reversing magic for you so reversing magic is um think like a mirror like think of imagine holding a mirror up in front of you it's like whatever comes to you it gets sent back, sent back to the person and it's almost like you don't even have to do anything right now like your higher self is doing it and your guides are just doing it automatically where it's like you're just that protected where it's just whatever they send out is getting reversed back to them it's getting sent back to them just like that like your guides are done with this person i'm telling you um so yeah anyway i mean i know some of you still love this person but i feel like if they don't come back around soon they're not coming back because your guides are just not going to allow it like your guides will get to a point where they're just going to like mess their life up if they even message you you know what I mean? Like right now, I kind of feel like some of them, they're they're on that cliff, you know, like they're at that point where they're not even going to have the chance. But some of them, a lot of them still do have a chance. A lot of them do still have like, it's almost like I feel like a deadline. Like they have, because I was getting like a couple weeks ago, I was getting like a month and I'm still getting it. It's like, it's like a couple weeks away, like it's, or a week away even for some of them. It's like, it's here. It's like, they're done. Um... Especially with them finding the loopholes, I feel like they're actually speeding that deadline up by looking for loopholes because they're pissing their guides off. So it was a month and now they're like, you know what, three weeks actually. <laughs> like the, they're actually, the deadline is being cut shorter because their guys are getting so pissed. They're like, you know what, we're not even going to entertain this another month. We were going to give you another month to message your person or show up at their door or commit and do what you're trying to do with magic in the physical realm. But you know what, you don't do it, then you're not even, you're not even going to get the chance. Like you're not, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're going to get to that point where they're not even going to let you do that. They're not even going to let, let you, they're not even going to let them talk to you. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of them do still have a little bit of a chance. Like they could, if they really stepped up, if they messaged, if they committed, if they, if they gave you clarity, if they made sense of things, if they were open and honest and willing to be vulnerable and, put their pride aside. I feel like this is a karmic lesson for them regarding vulnerability because I feel like they have a really hard time putting their pride aside and being vulnerable and open. And I feel like this is actually a karmic lesson. And I feel like if they don't learn this karmic lesson, it's like, it's going to repeat. They're going to be, it's like a cycle that I feel like is about to wrap up, but they can make the decision to have that not wrap up and have it just continue on if that makes sense. You know, and it doesn't necessarily have to be vulnerability with you. It could be vulnerability just in general. Like they were meant to to mature and be open and vulnerable and not keep holding on to their pride. And if they hold on to their pride, I feel like they're about to miss out on some serious blessings. Like there could be some really good things coming their way, not just with love, but also with like work, with, with everything else. And their pride might block them from receiving the abundance. Um, I'm getting that they're sabotaging themselves without even realizing it. So it's like, this was a karmic lesson for them to learn, to put their pride aside. And if they don't learn it, it's going to, the cycle is going to continue. Because I see it, it's like, like they're there, like they're almost there where they're free of this. There's like a cycle that's trying to complete. And if they don't go through that, almost like, I want to say like a portal or something. I don't know what it is I'm seeing. Because I see like a little portal, like around like... I don't know if it's like the end of February or like mid or late March. I don't know. It's almost like they're going to have to like repeat an entire cycle if they keep doing what they've been doing. Like their guides are out of patience with them. It's not just your guides protecting you. Their guides are also pissed at them for doing this. Like it's, it's, you guys might, I don't know what's going on with you guys. It's, it's interesting. Um, if this is your reading and you, and you want me to look more in depth into it, I, you know, I have these, I have another deck that really goes into the astral realm and I can, I can look more in depth. If you want, my email is below, just send me an email and I can do a private reading for you. Um, but I'll pull some more cards too and just see what else I can get. But, you know, in, you know, in-depth readings are the ways, the ways to go. Oh my God, I can't even talk. In-depth readings are a good way to go if you're looking for more details on this, you know, because this is a general energy reading. I'm reading a, a collective group. But if you want, like, you know, specific answers, I, I recommend a private reading. 
Um, so yeah, just check my description box below for my email address and go ahead and send me an email. But anyway, um, kind of can't talk, but, um, but yeah, they, so this person has like a very limited amount of time, but like I said, the deadline is they're pissing their guides off. So their, their guides are like, it's almost like you ever see like a little kid, like arguing with their mom and their mom's like, you're on time out for, for 20 minutes and then they talk back and they're like 30 minutes and then the kid talks back and they're like try me and then the mom's like 40 minutes it's kind of like that that's like what's happening with them and their guides right now in the higher realms where they're they're like testing their guides and their guides are like watch me <laughs> watch me <laughs> like they're they're about to get a rude awakening if they keep this crap up i swear but yeah, I feel like a lot of them have a very, very limited amount of time to to call, to text, to message, to open up, to come to your door, to communicate, to to match, to have their physical energy match what they're trying to manifest astrally and emotionally. They have a very limited amount of time. They would have to make a pretty brave and forward gesture like immediately. Um Like they have to prove themselves, not only to you, but to their guides, if they're going to ask for this, like they really, they need to prove themselves. And I feel like I'm just putting that out there because I know some of you love this person still, but I honestly feel like your guides aren't going to let you have this. I hate to say it like that because I know like it pisses, I've had that happen with me too. Or, and it, so I understand that energy. I know how frustrating it is, but your guides are going to get to a point where they just don't allow you to have this because it's too toxic. It's too, they're they're holding you up from all, they're trying to hold you up from all the amazing things that are meant for you. You know what I mean? Like, and your guides are not going to allow that. You have a destiny and your guides are going to make sure that you are on track with your destiny. You're meant to have money and lots of money and abundance and true love and marriage and all the things that you want. And this person is either, if they're not getting on board with that and, and meeting you there in that energy, then they're going to get cut out because your guides are not going to let anything stop you from having this destiny that you're meant to have. You understand? So yeah, they have a very limited amount of time to, to step up and reach out and prove themselves and show you and show their guides that they're capable of vulnerability. They're capable of maturity. They're capable of owning their mistakes. They're capable of making their lives better. They're capable of, you know, just just being emotionally available and emotionally mature, you know, act, you know, communicating like they have a very limited amount of time to show you and their guides that they're capable of that, that they're committed, that they're on board, that they. You know what I mean? Like they, they have a very limited amount of time, and if they don't. Your guides are going to get to a point in the near future, I feel like where they just put a wall around you and this person's not going to be able to tap into your energy at all. Like they're not going to show up in your dreams. They're not going to pull you in. They're not going to be able to do anything. Like they're just not going to be able to reach you. They're, they're getting to that point where they're just, they're not going to be able to even tap in anymore. Like you're going to be that, like you're already protected, but that wall is like going up more and more each day. Like your guides are like building that wall higher and higher, you know? And it's going to get to the point where they can't even just, they your person can't tap into your energy at all. Your guides are just going to say no. They're like, nope, I'm sorry. I know you love them, but you have a destiny. You have all this abundance and all this love and all these good things ahead of you. And we're not going to let you get your energy tied up to someone who's not willing to step up and be your other half. You're not getting your energy tied up with someone who's not going to catch up to you and not going to be on this path with you, you know, because this person is just trying to drag you back in, but they're not trying to commit to you. They're not trying to love you. They're not trying to support you. They're not trying to be with you. They just, they, it's like they miss your energy. Like they miss that support, you know what I mean? So it's like, they want to pull you back in, but then once they have you, they don't know what to do with you. They just want to pull you back in and like maybe drain your energy, like a psychic vampire, or like they want to pull you back in and, um, manipulate you or they want to they just maybe they just it's like familiar like old reliable kind of energy where it's like they want to pull you back in and just um 
you know, like they, they just want to feel wanted. It's almost like an ego trip for them. And your guides are like, nah, like you deserve to be loved. Like you deserve to be wanted. You deserve mutual effort. So they're not, there's nothing they can do to get that to happen again. It's not, your guides aren't going to allow that. Your guides are not going to allow them back into your energy field like that. They're not going to be able to drag you back in and have you loving them and missing them when they're ignoring you and ghosting you and blocking you and treating you like garbage. Like your guides are not going to allow that. So your guides are basically telling them now, like you message this person, like you message, you show up at their door, you call, you put your pride aside, you be vulnerable and open and you, you own that. Like you own what you did, what you've done. Like you like, like you be strong, you be assertive, you like, you know, like you have to you have to really make that bold gesture. You have to take that leap of faith, you know? And um, like I said, they have a very limited amount of time to do that. And if they don't, it's like your guides are just going to say no. Like, that's it. You're not going to get a chance to do that in the future. Like, nope, sorry. Um, so, yeah, they're trying to find loopholes right now. They're trying to find a way to, to control you without ever actually committing to you. Um, and they're fighting with their guides and their guides are basically saying, no, you have two choices. You can reach out and message, call, show up at their door, or you can let this person go for good and let them move on to their destiny. But you're not going to have them in limbo. Like you're not going to stand in the doorway. Like you're blocking traffic. You get in or you get out, but you're not standing in the doorway. You're not blocking the energy flow anymore. You're going to get in or you're going to get out, but you're not, you're not going to be in limbo. You're not going to keep this person in limbo anymore. Um, so that's where I feel you guys are at. That's where I feel they're at. You know what I mean? And like I said, the more they try to find loopholes, the more they piss their guides off and risk just having them say no. Actually, never mind. It's too late. You know, because they're getting up to that point. If they keep finding loophole, if they keep trying to find loopholes, their guides are, are going to in the near future just say, never mind. You know what? Not only are there no loopholes, but you actually, you don't even get to talk to this person anymore. Like, their guides are pissed. Oh, my gosh. Or your guys are pissed. Someone's guides are pissed. Um, God, what else can I say about this energy? This is chaotic energy you Aries are in. I'm an Aries, too, so I get it. I understand. <laughs> but but this is some chaos. Um, What was I going to say? Okay, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm going to say. Because I just channeled. I was planning on pulling cards, but it didn't happen. Truth, clarity. Yeah, it's just more kind of confirming what we already went over. They're trying to get you to be submissive and we build to them. But you're like, nope. Yeah, they have to come forward with that. They have to. They can't just lurk in the shadows. Like, they need to. Could be up on social media. Like, they need to send a message or something. Or some kind of, maybe a public gesture even. For some of you. But it's like, yeah, they have a very limited amount of time to express that, to express the regret. And I, like I said, it's sad. It's really sad because I feel like this person is ending a karmic cycle where they're like, gosh, I just, ugh, how do I even explain that energy? Because I keep feeling that energy where like they're, this was like a karmic lesson for them about being vulnerable and open and like owning it, you know, like owning their, like being honest about their mistakes and working through them to be a better person and not just pretending like they're perfect. Like this was a serious lesson in like soul growth for them where if they had learned that lesson, they could, they could skip a lot of the, the chaos and heartache that's to come. I hate to say it like that, but I just feel like this was a karmic cycle for them and they're about to, they're just about to miss out on a, lot, on a lot of blessings and they're about to have some tower moments coming up because their, their guides are trying to teach them this. Their guides are trying to get them to be vulnerable and if they can't get them to be vulnerable with you or with someone that they really love, then it's gonna, it's like they're, they're gonna break them down. They're gonna break this person down. Like this person's gonna lose everything. I hate to say it like that because it's so dark, but it's like, like this person could lose their home they could lose like could be family drama could be like losing a job just like 
their their guides are gonna strip them like naked like strip like everything from them and push them to rock bottom so that they change you know what I mean it's like like breaking someone down to like rebuild them it's kind of like that where it's like their guides would prefer to do this the easy way. They would prefer that they just start being vulnerable and open and maturing on their own. But if they stay in this cycle of, of pride and ego and, you know, walking all over the people, walking all over people, sabotaging people, like, their guides are going to teach them the hard way. You know what I mean? Like, but they're going to, you're not going to be in that energy with them. They're going to be in that energy alone. Like your guides aren't going to let you be in that energy with them. Like you might want to, you might be like, oh my gosh, like my person just like lost their job. I want to be there for them. And your guides are going to be like, nope. Like your guides will not let you. Your guides will be like, no, this person made their bed. Now they have to lie in it. Like they chose not to be with you. That's their choice. But I don't want to say, it, it sounds so weird to be like, oh, they have to be with you or they're going to suffer. It's not, it's not like that. It's more like, it's more about the lesson of being vulnerable. You know what I mean? Like they could do it with like a family member. It doesn't have to be apologizing to you. It could be like they apologize to like a family member. Like they just show that vulnerability. Like they show their guides their willingness to to better themselves, to be more empathetic, more mature, more responsible, you know, not gaslight people, but really like own own it. Like own what you've done and make it better, you know? Like don't pretend like it just not it's not there. Like there's probably other people. It's probably not just you. There's probably multiple people in their lives that actually need like justice. Like, you know what I mean? So it's not like, oh, if they're not with you, they're they're going to be screwed. It's more like if they don't learn this lesson about being mature and responsible and being vulnerable and open and bettering themselves, then their guides are going to teach them that lesson the hard way. And they're going to go in a downward spiral and you're not going with them. Your guides aren't letting you go with them. Your guides, you're on a different path. You are on a different path. Your guides are not going to let you stop for them again either. Like you're you're going somewhere right now. Like like money, success, love, just maybe fame for some of you. Like everything you could want. Um, like your dreams coming true. And your guides are not letting you look back. They're not going to let you go back and, and baby this person and try to pull them along. This person's going to catch up to you or they're going to or you're going to you know, they're going to lose you. They're not, you know what I mean? Like your guys aren't going to let you stop now. You're going to have to keep going either way. So that's where you're at. I feel. Some of them might be wanting to surprise you at like a club. Like maybe they're thinking of like a social event where they could like meet you at, or maybe there's, hmm. There's miscommunication. Maybe there was miscommunication that took place between you at a club. Someone was trying to be controlling. I don't know. Anyway, is there anything else we need to say about this? Because this has kind of gone on for a while. Yeah, someone is going to make a bold gesture towards you. They're going to choose, someone's going to choose love over fear. They're going to take the risk. And this person, so either the person that we just mentioned is a life partner or someone new coming in as a life partner. You have two potential life partners. And um, your guys just want you to know, like, if you're letting this person go, if you're like on board, you're like, you know what, take this person. I've had enough of this. Like your guys are going to bring you someone new that's going to make you even happier than this person did. And they're going to commit. They're going to want you. They're not going to risk. Someone that loves you is not going to put themselves in a position to lose you. You know what I mean? Like they're not, you know, like they're going to be open. They're going to say something or they're going to like at least like open up a little. You know what I mean? Like there's going to be something there. There's going to be some kind of opening there. So, um, so yeah, your guys just want you to know that like someone is going to choose love over fear. Someone is going to put you first. Someone is going to think that you're the entire package. Someone is going to think you're beautiful inside and out. Someone is going to be amazed by you. Um, and it's either going to be this person we mentioned, like they're going to get it together last minute. They're going to level up quick and they're going to run up, run to catch you and meet you on your path to your destiny and, and match your energy finally or this person's going to get cut out, but they, your guys want to reassure you if that does happen, um, which it looks like it's going towards, that's where it looks like that's where it's going towards right now. Because, um, cause like I said, they keep trying to find loopholes. And if they keep doing that, their guys are going to say, no, you don't even have a chance anymore. If you try to, if they try to do that, you know, like they're, they're not going to allow it. They're just, they, they have, they're very, they're treading on very dangerous ground right now. 
But your guys want you to know if that does happen, like you do have someone that is going to love you that way. That is going to be, that's not your only life partner. You have two potential life partners. Yes, the narcissist is a potential life partner. Um, if they choose to level up and get out of their narcissistic tendencies and better themselves, then yes, they are. But if they choose to keep going down the same old path that they have been, they're just, they're going to stay that way for years probably. And they're going to have, they're going to go on a downward spiral and you're not going with them. Like I said, your, your guides will not allow you to go down that path with them. So you're going to keep going forward and then you're going to have someone else that's going to see your power and your energy and just be in chan enhanced. Oh my gosh. Why can't I talk? Enchanted by you. I think was what I was trying to say. That word. Is that, is that it? Okay. Um, they want you to know that you have love. Okay. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Anyway, if you'd like a private reading, my email is below. So just send me an email and any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. Um, and subscribe if this resonates. Thank you for watching.